Point us to darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord. In wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace and the love and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the Holy Church, and of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Yes, yeah. 
again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy, and us to keep us, O God, by thy grace. ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. Lord, dear Lord. For thine is the dominion, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages.
Lamenting, saying, Have I patiently waited for thee, O Lord? My soul hath patiently waited for thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord.
Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For so thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and the ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly, one of the servants of the emperor overheard the words of prayer 
And he made a denunciation to the emperor that Jacinthus, entrusted with an imperial position, did not honor the Roman gods, but prayed secretly to Christ. Immediately, they arrested him, and he was led to the emperor Trajan, who demanded that he eat of the idol offered meat, but the saint bravely refused and declared himself a Christian. By order of Trajan, they locked him up in a prison, and they fiercely tortured him, and exhausted him with hunger and thirst, so as to force him to eat of this idolatrous food. Then, on the 38th day, one of the guards, bringing the, idol's offering, the idol offering meat, saw angels alongside the martyr, dressing him in bright attire, and placing on his head a crown. It was then that the torturers decided to continue with the trial over the saint, but they found him in the prison already dead. The 12-year-old Jacinthus died in the year 108 in the city of Rome, and afterwards his relics were transferred back to his hometown of Caesarea. As I was reading this life today, I was struck with a little humility. How often do we complain about fasting, dear brothers and sisters? Fasting in our times of modern luxury. Fasting when fasting foods are offered substitutes. Soy milk instead of regular milk. Almond milk instead of almond milk. My goodness, there's even ice cream that you can eat that tastes exactly like ice cream. And yet how are we gonna give our life for Christ if we always accommodate our bodies and not think about our souls. And this young boy at 12 years old hungered and thirsted for 38 days because he loved Christ. So this is something for all of us to ponder upon because we just finished the Apostles' Fast and I often hear that the Apostles' Fast is very hard to keep because it's in the summer. In a time where everybody's taking vacations and things like, things like this. So I was struck with the humility myself because I too fall short at times and it gave me a little bit of humility to say if a 12 year old could suffer for Christ for 38 days, I think we can suffer for Christ for a few weeks when, it, when we're called to do so. Tomorrow's Divine Liturgy against is combined. So ours will start at 9.30, the Divine Liturgy will start at 10. I believe Father John is returning home for vacation next week. I do have a panachita tonight for the 40th day memorial for a man that I uh, did a funeral for about a month ago or so, 40 days ago. So if you have a need for confession tonight, um, come for confession, but if you can wait till next week, that would be great as well, because I said, as I said, I have a private memorial service tonight. May God richly bless you, and have a peaceful and sinless night.